How's it going, boys? There's David with Blade Banter. Looking to talk to you about two knives. I got two in from CJRB, which is Artisan Cutlery's budget brand. So it's uh, the name of it is China Zhang Ren Blade, which I'm told um, is roughly translated to China Artisan Cutlery Blade. Uh, so that's kind of where that name comes from. So CJRB. Uh, so that's going to be these two knives. There's the Field Spar and the Agave and both of them provided by uh, Artisan Cutlery. Uh, so that's gonna be what I'm gonna be looking at today. Uh, so we have this one here, which is thumb stud knife. This one's a flipper tab. And they're gonna be kind of a comparison. I'll let you know as far as the end of it, uh, which one I would say to recommend to pick up and uh, which one's still good. Uh, but I would go with the other one if you had the money for just one of them. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of where that's gonna look at. So first off, looking at hand, hand sizing chart. So we'll look at uh, first the adult women's hand. Uh, for the knife, so we're going to look at this one first for the field spar, and then we'll throw the adult male hand onto the other one uh, that's not even in the camera. So let's move that over a little bit. Uh, there you go. I did this digitally before, but now I'm doing it old fashioned way. So now we have the men's hand, so adult male's hand for that, for the agave, and then we'll switch that over. So women's hand, agave, male's hand uh, for uh, the field spar. And you can print that out in the description. So if you want to take a look at that, see what that's going to be in your hand, kind of match it up, see what it looks like, uh, then you can do that as well. Uh, weight side uh, for it is very minimal difference between the two knives. Uh, so between the two knives, so you're looking at uh, 4.1 ounces on the field spar, uh, uh, 3.9 ounces on the agave. Uh, so what is that? Uh, basically for this channel uh, we're gonna have basically the standardization as far as so quarters. So this is gonna be 20 quarters and one penny for the field spar and then for the other one, the agave, you're gonna take away one quarter. You're gonna save one quarter which is two ounces so that's gonna be 3.9 ounces uh, for the agave which is uh, that 3.9 ounces, the other one's 4.1 ounces so that's going to be the difference uh, for that. For yeah, if you're going to be looking at those two things, will you notice the difference if you're carrying one of them? Absolutely not. Uh, but just for your knowledge, as far as what that's going to be. Uh, so price-wise, thirty-seven ninety-five uh, for this one. Uh, kind of the going rate for it. MSRP is fifty-three twelve, and then thirty-three ninety-five for this one. Forty-seven ninety-five for MSRP. They have a few different uh, handle materials to choose from, so you can kind of figure out uh, what you want. You want to go with on that uh, pull weight uh, for this one. It came out to be two pounds, fourteen point nine, so almost three pounds of uh, pull. I find that to be a little bit higher for a thumb stud knife uh, because of the way that it operates. Uh, so I can do the regular you know, thumb stud open for it, but the middle finger flick is going to be one that um, is a little bit heavy. So you can still do it, but it's a heavy pull for it, uh, so it's not as comfortable. So I'd like that to be a little bit lower, near that two pound range. Now for this one, uh, this one's gonna be a pull of two pounds, 14.4, and that's where a flipper is a little different, so two to three pounds uh, for a flipper. Uh, so this one is perfectly fine for that. It's got a lot of, a lot of good uh, leverage for the flipper tab, so that opens perfectly fine. So those are the two on that one. And then uh, this one has a lot more ways to open it. So you're gonna have, again, those that thumb deployment for it, the middle finger deployment. You have a pinch and roll. So you're gonna pinch the blade, lower it over. And also you're gonna have obviously a traditional, uh, which is gonna be two hand open. This one's gonna be a lot less. I mean, like you have like one option, uh, which is light switch. So that's what you get for that. Uh, you're not gonna be doing a push button uh, for it because anything that has uh, the flipper tab align with the actual pivot uh, you can't push button that because you're basically pushing right into um, the you know, pivot so you're not going to go anywhere uh, so you have a basically a push button or, or light switch which is up and down uh, you can kind of maybe you can kind of do a traditional you got to have to pinch it up here not a lot of no <laughs> it's not very good uh, but you can do that uh, if you try hard enough uh, but really you have one deployment for this uh, you're going to have basically four plus deployments for this side uh, and then the blade is going to be about it's a drop point blade uh, basically 3.45 from uh, the rounded edge here uh, to the tip uh, 3.65 uh, from basically the furthest down on the handle 
and then this side is going to be a 3.48 uh, to the tip and 3.78 um, basically down at the furthest to the handle here uh, so cutting uh, edge is quite different also with it uh, so even though there's 3.45 the cutting edge on this is actually 3.48 uh, so basically the whole entire uh, length of this blade is 3.48 this one, uh, you have 3.48 for the blade, uh, but because of this fairly small uh, front foil, uh, you get 3.1 inches for the cutting edge. Uh, so it still can be used. Uh, it's uh, really, I have kind of th uh, thinner fingers, and this is um, pretty much the smallest I would want to go because um, that's not a big foil. Uh, so that's where you have to kind of be careful with that. Um, not really necessary. They could have just went without it. Um, got a little bit more cutting edge for it. But that's the style and that's the design that they want to go with. So uh, flat ground on both. D2 on both. Uh, so not really much difference for that. I mean, corrosion resistance is going to be under 10 um, as far as comparison to others. Uh, but cut, resist no, cut performance is fairly good uh, as long as it's heat treated properly. Uh, so it's, that's where it's still a popular blade option uh, for folks out there. But Eh, it's kind of the standard stuff. Uh, for beyond its thicknesses, it's about seven sheets of paper, uh, six sheets of paper on this side, so 22,000s, 20, uh, 27,000s, 22,000s, and then the ramp side, uh, both about the same as well. So ramp is about the, uh, from the, uh, basically when the lock is uh, disengaged to when that actual detent ball is on the handle. That comes out at about 24 degrees. So 20 degrees is really good, 30 degrees is not bad, 40 degrees and above, that's a lot. Uh, so you probably uh, stay away from those. Uh, but blade stock, 3.14 millimeters, 3.16 millimeters. So nominal, not really any di big difference for that. Both of them right hand tip up and tip, oh, basically right hand, left hand tip up. Again, the reason for that is basically you want the blade on the seam of your pocket. So you're gonna have the pocket seam uh, for the right hand or you're going to flip it around put the clip on this side and it's going to be on this side for uh, left hand carry so that's going to be how that operates so out of those things uh, there is even though this one has less deployments I would recommend if you were to just pick up one of them you only had 50 bucks or 40 something bucks to pick up I would recommend the Agave reason for that is it's for the size of it and for the shape of it when i first saw this i would i was thinking that's a weird handle shape uh, but once i got it in hand uh, this actually feels uh, very good it, it kind of rounds out with this ball of my um, palm there and it's very comfortable in hand uh, so that's where i feel it's really good for that and also um, even the lock bar release uh, it feels light enough where it's uh, comfortable that's really nice to use uh, so that's where I would recommend that. Uh, so out of these two for CJRB, they're always pretty um, good for how they're operating. Uh, these are a little bit loose for the pivot, so I tighten it up, and then they're fine for uh, kind of the play on that. But those are two for that, uh, but that's about all I have to say about those today.